Hi there, I'm Brock, and welcome to my shop. Today, I've just completed installing my W186-1826 uh, Shop Fox dust, dedicated dust collector. It is mobile, but it's attached, of course, to a, to a hose, so it's only a little bit mobile. But I've got enough, I've got a 10-foot hose on here, which is not stretched out all the way, no need for that. Plenty of room. I had to modify the bottom of the saw, attach a port, and then when I turned it on the first time, I kept getting zapped by static over and over. I had my hand right here, and it was like now when I turn it on, no static at all, nothing, not even a little bit. I did some reading, did some research, found out what I needed to do, and here's the deal. There's a wire that runs through the inside of this hose. Comes out a little hole right here and right over there. I drilled and tapped a grounding lug on the other end of the saw body. There's a wire that spirals around the outside of the hose all the way up. I joined those using these um, these lever lugs so that it's disconnect it's easily disconnectable without having to, to do all kinds of crazy stuff if I have to open things up or take off the hose. Uh, it's just a snap. Left myself a little bit extra. And this way I can take the hose off real quick if I have to without needing like special tools, or really any tools. Did the same thing on this end here. I grounded the other lug, the other end, to the to the uh, the, the body of the fan, of the collector. Here's where it can disconnect from. So flip just a flip of this lever here, break this connection without damaging anything. I can take the hose off, move this out of the way real easily, and I'm gonna additionally run one more leg of this, a dedicated grounding run, right to the uh, just in case, right over to the box. But when I do this now, the difference is astonishing. There is no static at all, which is, which is awesome because you do not want to have static mixed with moving air and wooden dust. Still got a little bit of cleaning up to do here, a little bit of tying things off with some more electrical tape just so nothing's really hanging loose. But this project is essentially complete, and I would judge it a success. Thank you very much. And remember, ground your dust collector. This can save your life. You do not want a fire. And, oh, I should mention, this wire, you can buy a kit at Rockler. Or go to Home Depot or go to Menards, and you can buy this, this wire. It costs about $350 for a 10-foot length. And it's, for, it's in your lighting section. It's a lighting grounding wire. It's, this is 18-gauge, um, stranded. And it's, it's cheap and it's easy to do. Have a great day.